so I tried a uh, live stream and <laughs> it just went horrible guys. <laughs> About New Year's now, and I've been making this um, the Nerd Hangout since this summer. Every Tuesday, it's the first Tuesday that I haven't released an episode. But I said um, for future episodes, now the podcast is probably going to be my main focus. So there's not going to be an episode every every Tuesday anymore. There's going to be a, a gap between. I'm gonna. Focus more on the podcast. Uh, so I tried a live stream. I wanted to make it for YouTube as well. Try to live stream on YouTube as well. But YouTube has this law that you have to have a thousand subscribers to make a, a live stream. And I only have 20. I just started. It takes a long time to grow. And maybe my tactics of getting out there isn't this fine-tuned as many of my other fellow youtubers but i'll take the long haul it's okay i like what i'm doing it's fun anyway i set a podcast up uh, nordic dd the ayana saga and i can live stream on there uh, which i which i did and as i was live streaming i was trying to figure it out to work out to get the youtube live stream to work as well anyway it was my first live stream and it just went horrible, guys. Uh, so I didn't even get the YouTube to work. So at least I got the podcast to work. But yeah, I want to show you kind of how it sounded. Check it out, guys. <laughs> This is just a test to see how my live stream actually works on Podbean. Well, well, well. Check it out. Can you hear me now? Maybe if the mic is a little bit closer. Is this better, guys? Just trying to see if I get it working on um, YouTube as well. Well, at least we have our show here on Podbean. Um, just checking this out. Hope you guys are all healthy out there in the podcast land. I don't know if it echoes, but this is just a test. But I should be verified. The, I'm trying to see if I can get this to work on <clears throat> YouTube as well, so you also can see me if you switch over to our YouTube show. If you do this just normally through YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers, and this is a new channel I started this summer, so I only have about 20 subscriptions. And that is understandable since the podcast haven't, hasn't officially even been released yet. But that will be now on the 1st of January, guys. Let's see if something happens here. <clears throat> no, still nothing. Of course, I've had a pre-released season already given out on the Podbean channel. Uh, nine episodes, including the Session Zero or Zero episode. And... I'm very looking forward to have remade all those episodes. I have added things, I have removed things, so I will be releasing them anew to see if I just a better version of it. So from the 1st of January 2021, which will be very soon, guys, this Friday, 
one episode is going to be released every week starting with episode zero a new episode zero this episode zero will include all of the backstories of the heroes which um the session zero of the pre-release season did not have this is of course my first time doing this so i don't know completely what i'm doing but it's kind of fun anyway but um of course since this is a podcast if i stop talking then you don't know what is going on but i am trying to get this to work also on uh, the youtube channel now we all started with this uh, Nordic D&D the podcast with our Dungeons and Dragons game but it evolved also to a YouTube channel called the Nerd Hangout in the beginning it was also called uh, Nordic D&D uh, but we changed it until the Nerd Hangout so we now both have this Nordic D&D podcast, this Dungeons and Dragons podcast, which is on all major platforms here on Podbean and iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and we also release it on our YouTube channel, on the Nerd Hangout channel. So, yeah. And there are no listeners, and I knew that was going to be a fact because I haven't even really how do you say I haven't um, branded this at all I haven't given the word out this just kind of came to me last moment because I am not home I am at work I just finished my shift and I have been given an episode out every week on the Nerd Hangout, every Tuesday. And this is the first Tuesday that I haven't done that. So I thought it would be cool to make a live episode. But I can't seem to get it to work. Now, initially, on YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers before you can do open a live stream. But I pretty sure that you can overwrite it with using a streaming service that is what i'm trying to do right now guys hope all of you are well out there especially in these cover times yeah i knew there was were going to be some hiccups because i've never done this before i've never tried it before and i'm actually trying doing it on two uh services at once which also is harder. I got it to work here on Podbean. It was easy to set up. YouTube, on the other hand, was a little bit more difficult. But I'm still not giving up. I still have five minutes until I am officially to release it as <clears throat> was the meaning. So let me try one more time. But last time I checked, it was actually already verified. I just think it would be cool if you had the choice to go to YouTube, you could see me live. Instead of just hearing my beautiful voice. Yeah. Back to the no, I don't hear myself. It should be a little bit better. Especially comparing to the streaming. So I hope my voice is loud and clear and hope you can hear me well. Anyway, like I said before, I'm really excited about the podcast being released now officially on Friday. Uh, every episode is going to be on a Friday. Uh, it's going to be at uh, 00, 00, 00, 00 hundred hours or 00, 00. 0.15 hundred hours here in then Danish time. So I don't know where you are exactly when it's going to be released for you. Oh, there's a lot of different things I can do here, actually. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, damn. Maybe I'll go this other way around again. Try this. I'm going back. So, yeah, guys. <laughs> anyway, what I 
specifically wanted to do with this episode was just to say a, a big thanks to you guys uh, for your support the last year. Every like, every comment, every view counts to grow. And this was just a, 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 a sample that I gave you in the beginning, these nine episodes. So it's a, it's a rough, slow start, but I'm going to keep on going and just take us where we go. I don't know what is going to how this is going to turn out or what's going to happen with all this. If it never blows up or never goes anywhere, it will still just be a fun project trying to do, which is also okay. I'm just try this again. Oh. Uh-oh. So apparently the, how do you say, the YouTube uh, piece of this didn't work at all, which is a shame, but I'll try to make it another day. I know I can upload this onto YouTube afterwards just as a podcast, and I'll probably do that. So to you guys who are checking in at our YouTube channel, I was trying to make a live stream, and I failed miserably. But this is the first time doing a live stream, so yeah, i got to figure it out. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Say hi if you want. Hey, me, boy, 88. What kind of show uh, do you have there? Comedy, cool. Yeah, I'll check that out. This this uh, podcast is just a Dungeons and Dragons podcast for nerds. And of course, if you like nerdish things, you could always check out our YouTube channel as well, called the Nerd Hangout. It's Dungeons and Dragons, movies. But anyway, our podcast is going to be officially released now on the first of January, twenty twenty one. Show his name is Father Brian. Okay, cool. You know, there's actually a lot of Dungeons and Dragons um, shows right now. So, yeah, I try to make mine kind of different. My Dungeons and Dragons um, show is going to be more of an audiobook feeling. So I don't waste too many, too much time on talking about the things that are not relevant. A lot of time you, when you wa- watch a Dungeons and Dragons show, you spend a lot of time joking around and... Um, talking a lot of things that's not relevant planet hd adhd okay yeah i'll probably do that why not it's a good idea does he have a live show as well tonight planet hd adhd yeah i'll probably check that out thank you sir but um the main difference between nordic D and our podcast and so many others are that I want you, the listeners, to know what's going on more than the players. That means you get to look behind the veil. You get to hear discussions with the enemies and all the things happening around the world that the players know nothing about. So the backstories of the players you'll learn about, learn about already in the beginning. So you can follow their missions and their personal goals and what they want, which makes it kind of interesting, which makes makes it uh, that you get a little bit more intimate knowledge about the players. And I think that's kind of cool. So, yeah. In the podcast also, there's going to be a lot of cinematic scenes. I have got the voice actors actually to reenact some of the... NPCs and enemies, which makes it more this audiobook feeling. And if you go to our trailer here on Podbean, or you can also see the trailer on our YouTube channel, The Nerd Hangout, Nordic D&D, the Ariana Saga trailer, you can hear all the audio effects that I use from BattleBards.com and Fessling Studios, and how the voice actors voice gods, enemies, NPCs, and stuff like that. And it's, it's very cool. It makes the show come so much more alive. And of course, if you have any questions about the podcast or about the show or about us, you can always leave a comment. Uh, another cool aspect of this podcast is that it's going to have a little darker tone on it. It's a horror theme, the podcast. Um... There's political aspects in it. There's a slave issue. There are... It's an undead-themed um, Dungeons & Dragons game also. 
which gives it this very dark tone. And I say in the beginning of every episode that um, it is an R-rated podcast, so... Oh, I have a caller in. Cool. Why not? Let's try this out. Connect. Hello? Why Hello, can't sir? I hear you, homeboy? Hello. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was my fault. It was a little glitch. Yeah, no, you oh, know, sir? it was actually a glitch of mine as well. Hello. Can you hear me okay? So... Yeah, so you're. What is the difference again between Nordic D and D and just regular D and D? Actually, it's just a name. Um, Nordic D and D is just because we are recording here in the north. Oh. I live in Denmark, Scandinavia. Awesome. So cool. that's actually just just the name of it. It's a normal D and D game podcast, right? But Let it's a, it's something. a home. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you something, sir. Yes. So, Denmark is the home. Is the, that the home of the Vikings? Uh, Vikings lived in Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Yeah. Norway and Sweden. Are you tall? I am not one of the tall ones. No, I'm sorry to say. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm just <laughs> asking. It's a gene that kind of passed on our family oh, tree. It's okay. Because I heard that I heard that some of the Vikings were like six foot eight, six foot nine. Is that true? I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Well, what about um Brock Lesnar? He says he has uh, Nordic blood. He's pretty big. Well, he is. Yeah. And and then the guy from um the Game of Thrones, the uh, the guy that turned like uh, Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah, he, he's from Iceland. No, I thought wow, that was so, him you were talking about. Well, those guys are huge. <laughs> yeah, well, they are, yeah. What, what they <laughs> but, eat over there? Ice? What the, what's on the ice, bro? Steroids? Yeah, they, eat <laughs> <laughs> they eat fish and whales. Oh, I got it. Oh. Yeah. Man, I'm going to try to have a son, and I'm going to feed him whale meat so that he could be like, Six foot ten, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. mm-hmm. Whale steaks. Hey, do you want McDonald's? No, no, no. I got something for you. Whale meat. Yeah, put that in the hand, baby. And he'll grow to be a Viking. Oh, yeah. And he's like, Dad, how come you're five foot nine, but I'm like six foot nine? Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> you know? Don't worry about it, kid. Now get in there and. and and win your fight because I put him into MMA if he was six for nine. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. He'd be the world champion of the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sounds but, fun. Uh, but I want to say this about Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. And I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I mean, I got into video games, so I got into RPGs. And a lot of the RPGs that are in video games now. Come from Dungeon yep. and Dragon rules. Yes or no? True. 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 And I like it. What's your favorite favorite kind of RPG game? I don't even know if you can call it that, but The Witcher Three was pretty good. I loved um, Witcher Three. Uh, Mass Effect it was amazing. Two. Mass mm-hmm. Effect Two is yeah. probably my favorite though. I played that twice. We have actually on our YouTube channel called The Nerd Hangout, where we talk a lot about different kind of RPG games and Dungeon Dragon games mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You check that out, guys. Okay, I'll, I'll check mm-hmm. it out. Put it in the chat. Text, yeah. put it up. Yeah. And I'm going to just say this before I go because I, I am working, but um, I just want to say keep it up, man. Do your Thank show. You. Stop mm-hmm. into Planet ADHD. How old are you, first of all? I am 35. Oh, never mind. You sound very, very young. So I was going to say, I know. I announce you very young as well. <laughs> I was, ge- I was going to say, announce your age, like if you're 16, 17, <laughs> because no. it's a rated R show. But yeah, you should uh, go in there and introduce yourself and say, I play Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm telling you, Father Brian, the host, he's going to mm-hmm. love you. He has a Dungeons and Dragons show that's doing very well on Podbean, by the way. So okay, cool. Yeah, check that it, out. Why it, not? And maybe he can come on your podcast. Maybe you can go on his, and that's how you get a bigger audience. I'm just that is true. Some tips. Networking. And also tell true. him Homeboy88 sent you. Because yeah, he's my buddy. 
Yeah, cool. So, yeah, thank you. And last thing is, I wish I would have gone into D and D. Listen, man, I'm old. Okay, I'm 45. <laughs> but no problem, man. I have a lot of friends who are 45. In the, in the 80s. I saw all these cr- little groups of people in high school playing D and D with pen, uh, I, like graph paper and basement. pencil, yeah. and yeah. I didn't get into it. Me and my friends rather go play basketball, play video games, or football or baseball. But I always mm. still saw it, and I always was like, "Well, that looks pretty fun." And I wish I would have asked them to join. Yeah, because I missed it, man. I missed that boat, and in the eighties. You don't even know. It was gigantic, bro. Yeah, yeah. It was huge. But you know what? It actually had really blown up again right now. I just started playing it for two years ago, and mm-hmm. it's mind blowing how many people are doing it right now. I so know. You should, you should just I... go back on that boat, man. Just find some friends and try it out. You'll love it. It's not I too late. Do it my, I might do it with my family because they were watching the show, and they yeah. go, "Wow, that looks fun." And they it's had so a they fun. had a professional board though on mm-hmm. the show mm-hmm. and pieces and all that and they still had the paper and I was like we should do that shit yeah. I know about RPGs I could try to figure it out I'll I'll be the um what do you call it the dungeon the master mas- the dungeon yeah. master yeah 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 I actually yeah. make my own terrain make uh, buildings and houses and everything uh, for the game it's it's That's really dope. fun I use that as a hobby. And you can also see that also on our YouTube channel where I create some other things. It looks kind of cool, actually. You know, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, congratulations <laughs> and keep up with your show and everything. And, um, man, it's it's cool that um, things come back around again and are accepted yeah. because I'm going to tell you this. Back in the days, Dungeons & Dragons wasn't too accepted with no. people, especially mm. the church groups. They used to yeah, think no. it was like satanic. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've heard about the they call it the satanic panic. Satanic panic, and I used to go yeah. to church. I don't go anymore, but they used to tell us, "Don't play Dungeons and Dragons, and don't yeah. listen to Kiss, and don't listen to that." Yeah, and I was like, "Well, I'm a hip hop guy. Don't worry about that. I don't even really care about <laughs> that." You know what I'm saying? So, but it was completely blown out of proportion. I mean, relax. It was. It was horrible. I mean, yeah. Kiss. For for the longest time, I thought Kiss was something, and then I heard, "I want to rock and roll all night." And I'm all, "This is what they're afraid of. This yeah, is what they're afraid of." I know. Yeah, but it, it's it, it's so strange. I love Kiss, by the way, as well. It's mm-hmm. amazing music. So. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, but, it was awesome for you to call in, homeboy oh, Eddie. Oh, no problem, man. I'm going around to new shows and introducing myself because you know what? These older shows, they can go uh, buzz off, bro. It's very I'm fresh of you. I'll probably do the same thing. It's a very good yeah, idea. Because the old shows are being mean to me. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, okay, I'm uh, sad we're dead. <laughs> they don't appreciate Homeboy 88 anymore. Okay, man. All right. Um, I got to go back to work, but uh, nice meeting you, brother. Yeah, Let's you too. Yeah, Keep thank up you, the good man. Work. All right, man. Thank All you. the best, man. All right. Bye. Yeah, so Dungeons & Dragons, it is still a cool thing to be uh, playing right now. I love it, and I am lo- very looking forward to sharing with you uh, the podcast, which is going to be released very, very soon. This is the first Tuesday that I haven't uh, released an episode on the Nerd Hangout. I'm probably just going to release this podcast on to youtube so all of you who didn't try to log on to see my live stream (laughs) i didn't expect anyone to come look anyway and i didn't expect anyone to come to listen to me on pot beans but it was very cool for homeboy to just step in and say hi so yeah cool anyway i think i am going to do stop this live stream now took half an hour and i just want to see say to everyone stay safe protect yourselves show love for everyone around you guys and keep being nerds see us on the youtube channel the nerd hangout and remember to listen to the dungeon dragons podcast every friday 2021 happy new year guys from all the nerds here
Spotify. That's it, guys. I made a live stream podcast. Uh, I didn't expect anyone to join me. I didn't expect any viewers or anything. I just wanted to set it up and maybe make an episode out of it. But I got a, I got a caller. I got a, a listener. So that was kind of cool. It actually made the, the podcast a little more interesting. Uh, the live stream a little bit interesting. Um, but if you didn't get the point point was that i just wanted to say happy new year to you guys thank you for the last uh, year that passed really excited about the podcast being released now first of january we just know now friday it will be every week an episode of the podcast so be sure to to listen in on that guys and i have like i mentioned many times before in this show that i have pre-released uh, nine episodes and as of now i'm gonna lock them all away it is time to just listen to uh, the official podcast and all the pre-released episodes are going to be locked away and you can listen to them if you become a patreon um, but we have done what we can with that and now it's time to just go on with the show and start with season one so yeah love and peace guys this is all I have for this episode.